Hello Mouses! I want to start today by saying I'm very sorry to Russell T Davies for saying that he is the worst Doctor Who writer ever because I've just been watching Snake Dance, the Peter Davidson era Doctor Who story which turns out to be even worse. So I'm not going to say that Russell Davies is a good writer or anything like that because the stuff he wrote such as where the Doctor is made better by praying and because he's some sort of god is terrible but I found something that's even worse. So I'm sorry for saying that Davis was the worst writer ever, because obviously he wasn't. Okay, on with the news. We're going to start today with the massacre in Syria, which is a terrible thing, but there are claims on both sides that the other side did it, and the Syrian government suggesting that Al-Qaeda did it, which is obviously calling for America to come in and help with the troops. So there's a lot of debate on the internet at the moment. Should America come in? Should it not? To be honest with you, at this point, I'm going to say no, because we don't know what happened properly. The government's saying that Al-Qaeda did it. The people fighting the government are saying that the government did it. We need what well, we don't need troops to go in right now. We need investigators. We need basically we need police to go in and find out who did it. And if it's the government, then perhaps we need to help the rebels. If it's Al Qaeda, then perhaps we can listen to the government and maybe we'll go and help them. But either way, we can't just send troops in just because a massacre has happened. We have to know who is responsible first. So we need investigators. That's all I'm going to say on that because right now there's a lot of hearsay going on on both sides. And right now the situation is totally unclear. Speaking of things that are unclear, Justin Bieber has been accused of assaulting a paparazzi. And to be honest with you, from the information that's going around, the paparazzi actually started it by blocking Bieber's car into position. We've already discussed in a previous video false imprisonment, and that's what it is. So Bieber can be legitimately seen as trying to end a false imprisonment. Therefore, this guy who's pressing charges would, if it was in Britain, and I so wish it was, would be attempting to pervert the course of justice, and that is a crime. So, given what happened, it seems that the paparazzi was approached by a lawyer who suggested that he file uh, police reports. That lawyer, if that is true, should be struck off. That brings the law into disrepute, which again, I wish this was in Britain, because if he's a solicitor, which it's, it seems that he's that kind of level of uh, lawyer, then the law society will be looking into his conduct because bringing the law into disrepute gets you disbarred in Britain. Or at least it can. It showed in this case as well. So either way, this guy was doing an illegal act. Justin Bieber tried to get him out of the way. And as a result, Bieber is now being sued. Well, well, well done to litigation. Happy America. Moving on, historians have found that the Tudor era of Britain was a historical myth. I'm not saying that the monarchs were a myth. The, the monarchs existed. Or at least we have evidence to suggest the monarchs existed. We can't tell exactly who they were because right now all we've got is historical documents. And if you trust anything that's written down just on face value, then you shouldn't. Because if you did, I've got a bridge to sell you. But there's plenty of evidence to suggest that these monarchs existed. And also, if you're just trusting what people say in museums, well, next time you go along, put a post-it note on top of the note on a sword that says whose sword it was. And just have the note say it was yours. Does it make it yours? No. So just bear that in mind when you look at historical documents. But they're suggesting that the Tudor dynasty wasn't a thing in the medieval era, and that's true. We don't think we're living in an Elizabethan era right now, do we? But we are. Historians will talk about this as the second Elizabethan era. So, and the Victorian era. Did the Victorians call themselves Victorians? They probably called themselves British. And so things like that. So yeah, someone's mentioned that, oh, they didn't call themselves Tudor. Well, no. But then again, they're coming out of what is effectively a second civil war. They're going to not want to show themselves to be factionalised. They want to unify the country again. So, yeah, of course they didn't. Okay, moving on. The government has reined back plans to have secret trials to keep information out of the public eye, especially when it's due to national security measures and things like that. There's stuff about MI5, MI6, which now we're talking about MI6. They could be a bit more secretive, to be honest. I wouldn't mind a bit more secrecy from people such as not working in a building that looks like this. Because, I'm sorry, but putting the security services in what is clearly the audience on crack is just the strangest idea I've ever thought. Let's put them in a neon house that says MI6 is here. 
it wouldn't be much different. But then again, the Labour Party, when they were in power, started this process of bringing in trials without juries, secret trials, to keep information out of the public eye that was perhaps a national security concern. I can see why they might think that's a good idea, but at the same time, there's a reason that we have jury trials, trial by peer, public scrutiny. It's so that governments can't hide things that we should know that they were doing when they shouldn't have been doing it. So I'm all for reining back this idea of secret trials. There is enough legislation to allow the prosecution or the defence to go forward to the judge and say this is a national security problem. We should discuss these particular pieces of information that are pertinent to this trial in private and then bring the trial back out in the public. That I can cope with. Everything else no thank you. Okay, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you've enjoyed the news. If you have, click the like button. Remember to share this with other people that would like to be informed and subscribe so that you get more information in the future. I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson, you've been watching a video, and I'll see you tomorrow.